Delegates queue outside a polling station in Baidoa, southwest Somalia. And inside the polling station, it's a different atmosphere. Electoral Commission officials hope to assure voters of a fair process, following allegations of corruption and voter intimidation in some regional states. Parliament Speaker Mohamed Osman Jawari is seeking re-election. Hours later, Jawari is declared winner, garnering a total of 45 votes, defeating his rival who only gained five votes. It's an election that is symbolic and a sign that democracy is slowly returning to Somalia. It used to be a decision by clan elders to pick their candidates. Two years from now, we want such kind of elections for lower and regional representations. In Kismayo, Marian Awais has also secured her parliamentary seat in an election that has seen more female candidates than ever before. I would like to thank the federal government as well as the regional state for ensuring this smooth process. I'm grateful to have won my seat in parliament and I'm looking forward to representing my constituents. In Puntland, a state in northeastern Somalia, 12 new male MPs were elected, a move that has raised eyebrows among the civil society and also the United Nations. 12 individuals have been elected, all of them men, so one concern is whether Puntland will meet the quota for women and I'm told that it will do so but that the eight seats minimum uh, maybe ten seats f minimum for women uh, will be chosen from the next 25 but this is a big issue uh, and the second is that the process takes place on time and in conditions of safety. A total of six member states are supposed to elect 275 lawmakers who will form Somalia's next parliament. And it's these new MPs who will eventually pick Somalia's next president. However, it's a race against time. Presidential polls are due for later in November. And some states are yet to name their representatives. Others are yet to meet the criteria of the federal indirect electoral implementation team. Nevertheless, it's an elections experts hail as a major milestone towards restoring Somalia's political future back to the hands of the Somali people. Abdul Aziz Bilal, CCTV, Mogadishu, Somalia.